I have a love-hate relationship with etching. I love the artsy atmosphere, the street performers, and all the shops dedicated to passions of mine like yo-yos and very woolly hats. I hate that a sandwich costs the same as a bicycle. But sadly, you can't have one without the other. Wherever there's a cool vibe, the expensive sandwich guys are sure to follow. Listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne. It's a few minutes past something. We'll check on those numbers while you listen to some music. Plagiarism is not a belief system. Thank <laughs> you. 
David to be inspirational. Funny how your routines can change after all these years. Lately, I've been enjoying a bowl of hog logs in the morning. It's true what they say in the advert. There just wasn't enough pig in my morning. This next song is for the hog log lady. Students are reminded that some grades are personal.
Recently, while walking home, I was chased into a tree by a group of students barking like dogs. I went into a primal state of self-preservation, hissing at them like a feral cat. I've learned since that it was some kind of initiation for a society. Oh, I suppose now that I know it was a joke, I can see the funny side. Ha! Young people, eh? The terrifying scamps. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. I'm Jumbo McNally, and at Jumbo University, every instructor is handpicked by someone that was handpicked by someone that I handpicked. That's the Jumbo Touch. Jumbo University, be your biggest self. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework.
just talking on campus. Thank you. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Here's the weather. Things are looking cold on the pointy mountains. You might want to wear a second pair of shoes. I suppose skis are technically a second pair of shoes. What they lack in terms of providing warmth, they make up for by being a lot like very thin toboggans. Play that music. Students are reminded to be in two places at once.
I recently joined an amateur plumbing club. Oh, it's a lot of fun. The pipes, the tools, the rush when you blow a valve. The competitive element is one thing, but it's also great training for when something goes wrong at home. After all, with the right attitude and a little experience, there's no problem. You can't make worse. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. The news today, pop star Jasmine Odyssey has everybody talking after sharing an image of a spatula. Fans are debating whether this latest post is a cryptic suggestion of music to come or simply a kitchen-based mistake. It's hard to say, but what is clear is that we'll be discussing it for days. Thank you. 
is, is it really worth going? That's the end of our show, but I'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again. Here's to that. Here's to time's relentless advance. Here's to you, Two Point County. Playing us out, we've got an absolute firecracker. Good night! <laughs> Questions. No, I'm not seeing your frog.
Maggie Watmore, learning on the job on Campus Radio. Can I ask, um, should we be paying someone for using this next song? Sorry, I just really don't know. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Here we go. Students are reminded to find themselves.
Campus is talking about the county's education minister and the bad or maybe good thing that happened. Over to you, Hugh. Yes, that's right. Emotions are high here in Crockenbush today as students have flooded into the city to protest the continued existence of education minister. Tarquin Foxbridge. They dabbled in some chanting, but haven't been able to get into an easy and repeatable rhythm. We'll be here letting you know the wording they settle on as and when it happens. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. It's too late to start trying. Results have been released. Luck won't help you now.
Do you want to learn better? Of course you do. Wanda, how do we do that? Everyone is looking for ways to study without all those hours in the library and pen stains on your fingertips. The latest way to trick your body into learning is to sleep with a book in front of or on top of your face. As you sleep, your eyes will occasionally open, letting in a little light and valuable, valuable knowledge. Try it for a week and see the results for yourself. Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you. Cheesy Gubbins. One big gubbin. Out of your dreams and into your mouth. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me.
asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. And that's the show. Join us tomorrow when we'll be discussing which vegetables last the longest. That should be great. You know, I've bought 16 avocados this year and still haven't gotten to eat any of them. I mean, really, they must be ripe for about five minutes. Sorry, we'll leave that for tomorrow, shall we? Join us then. students.
where your class is, is it really worth going? Harrison Wolf Show, baby. All right. Oh hey, this is Harrison Wolf, and thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to be talking about a subject that's near and dear to my heart. The one thing you need when things are getting hairy. You hear something funny outside, or you're just hiding from the milkman. That's right. Today, we're talking panic rooms. Intruders on campus. You know what to do. Thank you. 
Students are reminded to have the time of their lives. Every good panic room starts with its supplies. Now some things are a must. Your crackers, your flashlight, your bottles of water, sure. But don't be afraid to show some personality. I for one keep a bowling ball in my panic room. I find it's the perfect place to practice. If you hear this, please drink some water. Thank you. When it comes to surveillance, I'm strictly an anti-camera kind of guy. My philosophy is, I can't see you, you can't see me. So I like to keep things as low-tech as possible. I'd recommend strategically placed strings attached to some bells. You hear a ring, and you got yourself a visitor. Of course, sometimes it's the doorbell, and you really do have a visitor. If you want to get real crafty, just leave a load of rakes in your yard. No one suspects a rake in the yard, but you'll hear the sucker when he steps on one and takes a handle to the chops. Ouch. Janitor needed in Student Union.
Students are reminded to set reminders. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. Cheesy gubbins are back. Where did they go? Nowhere. <laughs> Cheesy gubbins. The only thing you can count on. Here's a question from Gyro in Duckworth. What is some of your favorite Panic Room pastimes? Well, thanks for the question, Gyro. I find that you can have a lot of fun with a little bouncy ball. In fact, one time... I was bouncing, lost track of time, and it turned out that I'd been doing it for 16 hours. I went cold turkey after that, meaning I was hungry, and took a turkey sandwich out of the freezer. Mmm. Turkey. Your body is a temple, and you wouldn't fill a temple with crisps.
here's one for the more advanced panickers amongst you. It's important to be one step ahead. What do I mean by that? Well, you could do a number of things. You could have a trap door for sneaky getaway. You could install your panic room in a hall of mirrors. Or you could hang a sign on the door that says, Out for lunch. <laughs> they won't know what's hit them. The administrator is reminded to stay hydrated. is not a belief system. Let's take one more question before we wrap up here. Hmm, here's a good one. What type of wood would you recommend for the furniture in your panic room? Well, you can't go wrong with oak. That baby's a classic for a reason. Me, personally, I like maple. It's heavy, and I like the added water resistance. Plus, it's fun to say. Maple. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. Enjoy your summer. I know I will. The end of year results have been released. Luck won't help you now.
students are reminded that some grades are personal. to build your brand new panic rooms. Don't forget to take a radio so Harrison can come along for the ride. Now, I, I know what you're thinking, but Harrison, can't they track me with the frequencies? And the answer is probably yes, but the Harrison Wolf Show is worth the risk. Happy hiding, listeners.
to Campus Radio. I'm Maggie Watmore and I just learned what this button does. I'm not sure when I would use it, but I suppose it's good to know. One more time. Excellent. Hard work may or may not pay off. Ask questions. Your food. 
food is cold because the oven wasn't on. I can't read what this next segment is about because I've lost my glasses, but I am told that that's quite ironic. So yeah, here's Hugh. Yes, it's not quite business as usual here at Duckworth Campus Food Court, where one of the servers has lost a contact lens. Unfortunately, they do believe the lens was lost during the preparation of a particularly big lasagna. They're asking every student to check their portion before they chew. But as of yet, no sight of the missing lens. This is a test announcement, not a real announcement. Administrative bonuses.
Here's Wanda, who'll be telling us the coolest way to get around the county. Yes, the bus is the new hot way to travel. Have you been on the bus? Oh, it's amazing. They're like huge cars. I am obsessed. And you don't have to drive. You can look at the scenery, check your phone, you know, all the fun stuff you usually do while driving. But this way, it's much more safe. Schoolwork, moron, social life, Loser. exercise, coward. You just can't do it all. There's only one way to fit everything in. Make your life jumbo. Jumbo University. Be your biggest self.
announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. That's all from us today at Campus Radio. As expected, there wasn't really a good opportunity to use that button during the show, so before we leave, I thought we'd have one more go. There you have it. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. Questions. No, I've not seen your frog. Mm -hmm.